THC, the active ingredient in marijuana that makes you high, is now legal in Minnesota. Raymond Campos went to talk with those who sell various THC products and those who buy them. Minnesota is one of the newest states to legalize THC. The new law allows hemp-derived THC products to be sold in shops across the state. Stores like Central Tobacco were quick to jump at the opportunity to sell these newly legal products alongside other products that give a mild high. That's the Delta 9? It is Delta 9? That's okay. THC. That's Delta 8. Okay. I'd say since Friday morning, we had a lot of phone calls, a lot of customers, regular customers, new customers stopping by asking us about these THC gummies, if we have them in stock, if we carried them. and. Um, I'd say it was surprising for us because we didn't expect this amount of customers to show up, especially customers that never wanted to take edibles before, new customers to edibles. Everybody was pretty much interested into this new law that passed. Business is booming in Blaine. Central Tobacco is located out 45th and Central and has seen a huge increase in the demand for THC products. A nonstop stream of customers flooded the store with one thing on their mind, legal high. Thank you, my man. We've been having high demand. Like, everybody's asking about what we carry in these new products, what type of products we have. Do we have the beverages? Do we have the gummies? What kind of gummies do we have? And uh, I'd say high demand. The news about the law change was a surprise to many, but for Yassine, it was an opportunity for him and his store. The legislation change requires no formal certification yet, so you might see hemp derived THC in a store near you. I was excited and I had to go double check online. Like, I didn't believe it in the beginning, but I mean, after I checked out, I was like, all right, I mean, if it's legal now, let's get it, let's get into business. The Agricultural Improvement Act of 2018 authorized the production of hemp and removed hemp from the Drug Enforcement Administration's schedule of controlled substances. Over the years, many tobacco shops became early adopters of hemp-derived highs. And though it was a legal gray area, the unregulated THC products are now legal. People in Blaine have been more supportive than I'd say a couple of years ago when the Farm Bill of 2018 passed of Delta 8. When Delta 8 first showed up, not everybody was like trusting it. People were kind of scared. They, they, they didn't want to get something that's not actually THC and get high off of it, you know? But throughout the years, after people doing their research, looking it up, trying it, testing it, they got more comfortable and now with this new law passed, we've seen people that never actually tried smoking or trying any edible come in here and asking about this. Customers at Central Tobacco were optimistic about the change and were open to trying new legal highs. One customer even compared it to one of Minnesota's favorite pastimes. My friend actually is the one that told me about them. So uh, this is my first time doing them. She told me it's very much a relaxing feeling like you're at the bonfire at the lake feeling just hanging out. Mellow, chill, body, just marshmallowy. For a lot of people that cope with pain and don't want to take or can't afford over-the-counter pharmaceuticals, tobacco stores might just become a place for people to take the edge off. Now that it's legal, people like Gloria can rely on stores like Central Tobacco instead of having to get her high at. Gloria can now relieve her pain with products sold at Central Tobacco. If I take a smoke, one hit, it takes it away for a little while. Central Tobacco is optimistic about what's to come and has a message for those who don't believe the hype. Try, then judge. And uh, I mean, THC has not been harmful, has not been reported to get people addictive to it. And low dosages can just help you go through your day smoothly. You know, there is, I've, I've never seen or heard anybody that had any side effects or bad effects. Worst case scenario from consuming THC is you go night night. You're gonna have good sleep. For North Metro TV, this is Raymond Campos reporting. To legally qualify as just hemp derived, it may contain less than 0.03%. THC. Anything else above that is considered marijuana.